In this video, Christopher is going to explain the importance of understanding a baseball swing motion when it comes to learning Mr. Hogan's golf swing. This understanding is what is going to help you approach your golf swing in a different manner than what is currently being taught online by the mainstream golf instructors. If you're serious about understanding what Mr. Hogan really did, then pay attention and really understand this is something you can do too. Let's get started. Hey everybody, how you doing? Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about baseball and Ben Hogan's swing. And a lot of people in some of the comments and stuff, they're like, ah, oh, it's not baseball, blah, whatever. I'm not going to get into what those comments are. But I'm going to tell you right now, the more you can understand a baseball swing, the more this is going to make sense, a lot more sense. So what do I mean? In baseball, if I'm right here, you can naturally see this cup in my hand, okay? And in a video I did a couple of days ago, it was in the, from that June 1985 Golf Digest article where Mr. Hogan was saying, hey, it's when I roll the club like a baseball bat is what got the cup in my hand. He, did, he, he also in that article stated that even though he weakened his grip, then, you know, with the weak grip, he got to the top and he'd still, you know, hit a hook. But what he was saying, think about what I just said for a minute. He weakened his grip and he still hit a hook. What he said was, with a weakened grip, I would still hit a hook. It wasn't until I realized that I could roll this club face open like a baseball bat that's what allowed him to start truly understanding his swing. So what do I mean? I'm here, got a baseball bat. There's the cup, it is obvious as hell, right? So when I come down, see how this elbow is up in a baseball swing. So it'd be here, I'm coming into the pitch, let's pretend the pitch is right down the middle of the plate. So all of a sudden I'm here, I step, I'm coming into it, this elbow is up and then it's Bam, right into it where I'm going to get leverage, okay? Now think about this. A lot of people, when they look at Hogan, they think that even if they're, you know, going to get this roll and come around them, their first move is this. Now, this move versus that move is an entirely different feeling, and it's an entirely different sequence of what's going on with the body. See, when I get here and I go like this, you can see how this part of the elbow is up. It is not pointing down to the ground. It is up. And then as I continue to come through, there comes the angle change to be able to, you know, hit the ball. Or we look at it this way. The elbow is that's a really good way to see it. It's up. It's pointing out here. It's not down. It's not down and then trying to come through. It's up in this transition, which is pointing it up here. So when we can understand this, it's going to really start making sense because a lot of people, if they get up here and they've, they've done the cup right and they've got this early and they're rolling the club face in, like I said, and club face in relationship to the arc. So then when they start to come down, they come down with this elbow and then it puts it here so everybody's thinking oh it's like this which it is not with Ben Hogan it's here I'm coming around and then all of a sudden my hands are going like turning down because the intention is to go on the 90 in the lesson that we learned before but the cool part is watch baseball here Hogan here and then the wrist turn down they don't hold on which is why a lot of people hit a slice when they're trying to do what ben hogan was doing but if you can get up here and say okay i'm going to be here the face is wide open right that's a scary thing for some people and then all of a sudden they're like this way then that club comes through that thing is going to be so wide open that's why people hit a slice it's plain as simple. Now watch this very, very carefully. I don't care about 
the ball, the club that I'm using right now. I'm worried about the motions in the arms, the body, the hands, the things like this. So we get here, now I'm coming around. And when I'm coming around, because this elbow is up, it is not pointing down. So all of a sudden it's here. Now, because that 90 is going up in this direction, it's, my body is turning, this is coming, and the hands are just rotating down. It's pretty simple, guys. Hopefully this is going to help you, and we'll see you in the next video.